Hi everyone, this is Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. We're here at Ify 50 and I've just seen the film House Owner in the Indian Panorama section. We're lucky enough to got the director and the cast and crew. Let's go and meet them. Lakshmi, welcome to AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. This is my house. This Chennai floods happened in 2015 and uh, the whole city was underwater. But what stood out was the compassion of people, uh, you know, they had for each other. Um, there were no barriers, language barriers. Um, everything got erased and people stood in solidarity, oh, you know, for yeah. each other. Yeah. So I thought I should explore this angle and that too from the angle of love. Right. Love uh, between life partners. Yeah husband and wife, right. which is never spoken about. You hear a lot of jokes on wife jokes, husband jokes, and how fed up people are with their marriages, yeah. how uh, marriage is a sacrifice. Uh, but there is another angle to it. It's it's something to do with unconditional commitment. The flashback portions come from the point of view of the husband. So he is stuck. Uh, in a memory space, yeah. yeah. So almost 40 years of, uh, the, you know, it's erased from his memory and he thinks he's 25 years old. And physically, both of them are stuck inside, trapped inside this house. So it's it's a film about getting trapped inside a space. At one point during the flashback, uh, we see the flashback sequences, we understand the husband has played the role of the caregiver and he is a protector and he's the one who encourages his wife. And she's very shy, timid, and he encourages her. And uh, over a period of time, the roles have reversed. She becomes the caregiver. She becomes the person who gives him the confidence. She says, ah, oh, you're tall. Please. So he, he, she, he mothers yeah. him. Yeah. So that transition, no, that happens in every couple's life, yeah, I feel. Right, right. You know? I, I thought the romantic scenes were f fabulous, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the cinematography, the way you composed it. You've made several films. Um, what really stood out for you from this one in, in making it? Um, no, uh, this is my fourth film. Okay. So I'm not formally trained. Right. Um, my first film was like it was just I was jumping into the waters, not even in, not even knowing that it's pretty deep. <laughs> so once I've jumped into it, I had to swim. Right. So it's like that. But then people saw some spark, like uh, the legends, like K. Balachandra sir. Right. He said we'll make hundred films, wow. and I wish I was there for your hundredth release. That's what he told me. Um, so they gave me a lot of encouragement. Yeah. They said you have a wonderful spark in you. Mm -hmm. You should. You should uh, hone this and you yeah. should make movies. Yeah. Uh, so that's how it started. So uh, for me, every film is um, my first film. I think that's how it should be, yeah. right? So yeah. once you feel you know everything and you have done it, then you you get saturated, you get stuck. Yeah. There's so yeah. much to learn. There is so much more to explore. There's so much to grow. Why is it not going to be a Why is it <laughs> Good afternoon, uh, I'm Ramakrishnan, the producer of the film House Owner. We had to literally build a house inside a 1200 square feet water tank. And it involved a lot of physics. The floods have to be created and uh, 12 lakh liters of water each day. It consumed. That's uh, 120,000? Yes, yeah. yes, liters. Yeah. And uh, my wife, who's the director, um, see, if you go to a producer, you have to explain all these things yeah. and you, you have to, you know, get their uh, consensus and things like that. And so when when she was, when we were discussing about it, I said, why not we produce the thing? So uh, we start, I started. Uh, I mean, uh, agreeing to it and we produced it. Brother, I play a 65-year-old man who happens to have uh, Alzheimer's. How difficult was it to play this character? It's a great performance, I think. You really embodied that, the, 
the ex-colonel, the army guy who's um, really living in the past? Um, it was uh, quite tough because I was playing a role which was 20 years older than me. Uh, first, I was scared because uh, what happens here in Indian cinema is that once an actor is cast in a particular kind of role, he gets too tired. Like he, he, he gets typecast, and um, I'll be uh, the father of all the heroines and heroes in the film film industry. <laughs> so I didn't want to be that. I was scared. Yeah. I told her uh, yeah. uh, when when the director contacted me, she only expected that, that fear. Right, right. She asked me whether you will be okay. Ada. The relationship is very tender and tough for your wife in the film, um, and you really feel for her. What is like Alzheimer's? Is there an understanding here? Because we have issues in the UK, both within the Indian community and outside, about mental illness and people who are suffering from dementia and that sort of thing. Is there a taboo here? Uh, yes, there is. Because we are very less exposed to education regarding this. So we are not well educated or we are not educated at all. Unless you have a patient suffering at home, when you, uh, unless you have a personal experience, you don't really understand. Actually, the director's brother-in-law is actually suffering from Alzheimer's. Nothing. So, with a person who is suffering from such a disorder, uh, everything has to be taken care of by the wife. And um, more than anything, how exactly they underwent all the ordeal for 30, 33 hours without the person realizing that it's flooded outside. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you can't take him anywhere, sure. you can't, uh, yeah. can't do anything, yeah. you have to survive. Yeah. Yeah. So how exactly, and the, the, the whole aspect is their love. Yeah. The couple actually, they are beyond uh, uh, 50s, they both are beyond 50s. And uh, the whole story says, uh, gives a different angle for love, the unconditional love they have. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, the youngsters will definitely get a message from that. Yeah. One of the youngsters who got the message is Loveline Chandrasekhar, who plays the young Radha. I asked her about how she came to get the part. It happened very, very uh, soon and very, like so fast that even till now, though it's been a year, I can't process it, right. but it's been, it was this very random day where mom and I were like, you know, let's take a picture because we were so bored. So we actually right. dressed up right. <laughs> and then we, we were at home actually. Okay. We dressed up, we took some pictures and we put it on uh, Facebook and mom and uh, Lakshmiram, our friends on Facebook. And then correctly at that minute, she was online right. and she saw the picture. Oh my God, right. uh, and then she called me um, right. for an audition. And then I went and auditioned and immediately the next she had announced. <laughs> Earlier in the day, director Lakshmi Ramakrishnan spoke at a press conference answering questions from the world's media. Being a woman in film was a particular interest to the audience. Sometimes it's an advantage being a woman because you get noticed. You know, it's a small number. So uh, the men, even though they are extremely talented and they are hardworking, sometimes they get lost because there are so many men, so many assistant directors coming every day to make movies. So that is there, but from the society's point of view, we want more women. As a woman, um, especially in this industry, I felt every time you want something uh, to get something done, you have to prove that you knew it. You are, you are, um, you. The, they don't take you at, uh, you know, they don't, they don't just don't want to uh, follow your instructions. That that block was there. Unless you prove it, you're never taken seriously. Being a man itself is a qualification. So when you come into this, uh, uh, in this foray, you come in, you have to prove that you know the subject. Otherwise, they just discount you. So there are times when I have told my husband, he has no connections with cinema. Uh, but still, I'll tell him, please get this done. And it gets done. But um, I said, I'm not going to be bothered about all this. Right. I'm here to experience the journey. And I will experience it. I'm here to stay.